What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for checkpoint jailbreak for iOS 15. More and more progress is being made. This video is brought to you by Anytrans, a software that allows you to manage the data on your device and drag and drop files directly from your computer to your device. Check it out in the link below. Also huge thank you to the people who are supporting this channel on Patreon. They are right now on your screen. So of course the checkpoint jailbreak, the unpatchable jailbreak that was somehow patched. Well not not really, the bootroom exploit is still there and it can still be used in order to update the jailbreak. However, with iOS 15, Apple introduced sealed rootfs, which did slow down a lot the jailbreak update. So the checkring jailbreak requires a major update in the way it handles the rootfs remounting before we can use it on iOS 15. Well, more and more updates are being made. Now, as you probably know, here on GitHub there is an iOS 15 branch for the checkring Pango OS and this has been worked on 16 days ago by Saigusa. But then just a couple of hours ago, like 14 hours ago, as you can see from here, Saigusa also updated a component called libdmg hfs plus. And apparently this one is made to handle the dmg files and you know the partitions and stuff like that on iOS devices, which is probably what they need in order to do the remount and stuff. So they are actively working in the background. If you take a look at the check rain here on GitHub, you can see all the components that are part of it, like Pango OS, Toolchain, the new lib, bug tracker and the libdmg hfs plus which has been updated 14 hours ago which of course implies that there are people working in the background in fact i think it's only saigusa at this moment working in the background at this so you can see a couple of updates 16 and 14 hours ago like make images kernel compatible and many other things so check rain is being actively updated for those of you who keep asking me if i have any check rain news that's what they are currently doing they're trying to fix the issue with the sealed root FS, which doesn't allow them to remount. Now, fortunately, they can do that because they have full control over the boot room and, of course, over the whole boot chain, which means they are in a much more powerful state than Uncover or Torin. So they will definitely be able to create a jailbreak that is not rootless. Let's hope they will do that. Now, we don't know for the moment what approach they're going to use, what they're working on for the moment, but I do not think that Checkrain will go rootless. However, the next jailbreak from the ODC team and possibly even Uncover might. Now, ODC team, in fact, Coolstar made apparently a joke that a new jailbreak called Electra will be released soon. Not all of it is a joke. Probably the jailbreak itself is not going to be called Electra, and apparently that was a weird joke by Coolstar. Anyways, they have announced even days ago when the new iOS 15 exploit was released that they will no longer be working on anything iOS 14 related and that the focus for the ODC team is now the iOS 15 jailbreak. And anybody who is asking about dead firmware like iOS 14 will be muted. They also said that their next tool will be rootless, which means that they are actually indeed working on a jailbreak or planning to work on a jailbreak, it's just that it's probably not going to be called Electra 5. Anyways, Checkrain jailbreak is being updated and that's great because Checkrain compared to the Odyssey or Chimera or Electra or whatever they want to call this jailbreak, Checkrain will support all iOS 15 versions from 15.3.1 all the way down to 15.0, while whatever will be released by Odyssey team or Uncover can only work up to 15.2 beta 1 or 15.1.1 stable. So if you're waiting for Checkrain, that's great because Checkrain will support the newer versions as well, probably including 15.4. But yes, it's being actively developed. You can see small bumps of updates here and there, and that's great. Currently only Saigusa seems to be updating these. Maybe other people are working in the background as well, I don't know. But here publicly only Saigusa seems to be updating these repos. However, once they are done you can expect in the check rate but please do be patient this takes time it's an important feature added by apple especially to prevent jailbreaks so of course it takes time to defeat it thank you for watching ings now till the next time peace out